On Tuesday, August 6, Vice President Kamala Harris announced Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her 2024 running mate. And in typical fashion, the legacy media immediately coalesced around him, referring to Walz as folksy in an effort to make him appear more relatable to everyday people. But this is a cynical and desperate bid to downplay Walz's radicalism. Not only has Walz disenfranchised U.S. citizens by providing free health care and college tuition to illegal immigrants while turning Minnesota into a sanctuary state, but he has also implemented some of the most invasive and aggressive LGBT and abortion policies in the country. In Minnesota, many voters call him Tampon Tim for putting tampons in boys' bathrooms from fourth grade all the way up until high school. But Tampon Tim isn't just a moron who believes that men can menstruate and have babies, he's much more dangerous than that. In the spring of 2023, Walt signed the deceitfully titled Trans Refugee Bill into law. This law enables the Minnesota state government to determine whether or not a child's parents are allowed to maintain custody if they don't provide a trans-identifying child with so-called gender-affirming care. Following this law, transgender Minnesota State Rep Lee Fink, the legislation's primary sponsor and stalwart Walsh ally, introduced a measure that would extend legal protections to pedophiles under the state's Human Rights Act. The Human Rights Act prevents discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. Fink sought to extend these protections to people who are sexually attracted to children. And in addition to being close political allies with pedophile advocates, Wall signed legislation repealing a previous bipartisan measure requiring the reporting of live births resulting from failed abortions, and that action be taken to preserve the life of those infants. This repeal effectively removed the requirement for abortion providers to report such cases and replaced it with an ambiguous requirement to provide care without specifying the need to preserve life and health. Walsh is one of the most dangerous Democratic officials in the country. If Walsh becomes vice president, you can all but guarantee that he'll stop at nothing to bring similar policies to the federal government and to your families.